So here in Illustrator and Photoshop, we're going to have a look at how we make a puzzle from vectors in Illustrator, and then how we kind of transfer that to Photoshop, and then also how we make a replaceable um, image in Photoshop. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool first of all, and then just draw out a rectangle. And we need four of these, so we're going to do a simple puzzle here. So I'm just holding down the Alt key to duplicate this. And then for the puzzle itself, um, we're going to grab the ellipse tool here and just draw an ellipse that overlaps each of these four sides with the adjacent kind of what will be puzzle pieces. So we can kind of change these up a little bit. The position doesn't matter too much. And then now that I've got all these shapes uh, drawn on, um, I could tweak those shapes if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave those as is. I'm going to use this intersect option in the Pathfinder. So if you go to Window and Pathfinder, bring that up, bring up the Pathfinder window, and we can intersect all those shapes. So basically, if we go to our direct selection tool here, we've got each of those individual shapes. And what we need to do now is have one puzzle piece um, with a kind of indented shape, and then I'm holding down Shift to add to that shape so now that will be the outdented part so if I join those together using the Pathfinder Unite option and you can see that's a separate shape and then I can do the same across here so I'm just holding down shift and now same here holding down shift and uniting them and then the last one here so now I have these four puzzle pieces we can pull them apart and we could modify them, they're not perfect puzzle pieces, they don't quite lock together, but that's uh, fine for the demonstration. And so basically now what we can do is we can take these into Photoshop and kind of make a puzzle from them. So I'm going to copy all of these at the same time. I'm going to come into Photoshop where I have a document set up, and I'm going to place an image um, in there. But instead of placing an embedded image, I'm going to place a linked image. And this is a kind of nice step, which means we can replace it later on. So I'm going to grab this image of a kind of city at night time. We'll place that in there. And I'll just drop the size of it down a little bit. And so now if I go to Edit and Paste, I'm pasting my paths. And I want to paste paths from Illustrator onto that shape. And basically what will happen is, because I'm pasting onto that layer, it's actually cropping that layer with those um, pieces of my puzzle as a vector layer there. So now if I come to my selection tool, you can see I can select each of these individually. Super simple puzzle. We obviously need four layers with this puzzle on it. And so now I'm going to drag this down and just make four versions of this and we'll go through and delete all but one uh, piece of that puzzle for each layer. So I'm going to go to the top layer. I'll delete this this and this. I'm just holding down shift to select all of those. You can see I've got one puzzle piece left there. I'll now delete on the next layer down this one, this one and this one. We'll delete that and then on this one I'm going to hold down shift and we'll just delete those three. So the last one we're coming to the bottom left piece which we'll leave and then we'll delete these three again holding down shift to delete those three and now we have if we grab our move tool um, the different pieces of the puzzle. Okay, So now those are all separated. And now if we make a different puzzle, we wanted to get something different into those layers because we use that linked option and we can replace the linked image. So we're going to layer and then smart object, relink to file. And then once we're in here, we can link to a new image, place that and because it's linking to the same image for each of those layers, now it will replace all of those uh, layers. And you can see my puzzle is a little bit broken uh, here. So you need to be careful with the size of your image, maybe match the image size as you're working with it. But we could also kind of then go and resize that image so they, they matched up nicely. But basically you can see it's replaced all of them um, inside that puzzle. So if we unlink these, I'm gonna just select the images and I can I can't really move these in here uh, to kind of get them to fit because I have to move them by the same amount for each image so I would need to kind of remake that 
um, but you can see uh, how we could move them around uh, within those shapes but it'd be better to kind of pick an image that was the same size so we could open up this image and then if we go back in fact so this original image if I go to file open and we'll go back to our original nighttime image and then we go to file place embedded and we'll select this image which you can see is smaller which is why it's not uh, kind of filling that space we'll just change the scale of this in proportion go to layer and flatten image and then file save as so now we're replacing uh, the image with an image that's the same size and so now if we come back to our puzzle and go to layer and smart object and relink to file we'll select this new version of that layer so matching the image size would be one important part of this puzzle so now you can see as long as the image is the same size we can replace the puzzle pieces and however complicated that puzzle was we would have a new image inside that puzzle